Featuring Chris Davis and Forrest Whitaker, Big George Foreman chronicles the life of one of the most improbable world heavyweight champions of all time. Hi, I'm Chris Davis, and here's a scene from Big George Foreman. Listen to me, George. You got a punch like I've never seen. But in every battle, the greatest foe that we will combat isn't here. You go about your whole life wearing dog glasses, building big fence around your home, you got your privacy. Then all of a sudden, you have to reveal your life. That hasn't been easy. I mean, he'd been working on the film for quite a while. I mean, in fact, it was going to go, and then it didn't go, and then it went again. George should change his name from Four Man to Poor Man. <laughs> to Hurt. What's my name now, fool? He is really trying to find somebody who can really hold the performance, who can really act. I was blown away when I saw a picture of him playing Jack Johnson on stage. I didn't want just a celebrity to play George Foreman or to imitate George Foreman. I needed an actor. This guy, a great actor, he brought George Foreman to the screen. My first reaction was, why did I audition for this? That's a big responsibility. Oh, man, now I really got to do it. Let's thank God for the food, y'all. I bought the food, mama. George Foreman ain't no new champ. He is the new chump. We gonna get it on because we don't get along. Foreman goes down! I'm not Mr. Foreman. I could never be Mr. Foreman. So for me to hold myself to that standard seemed a bit unfair. But what I really wanted to do was do an, an interpretation of Mr. Foreman's story. Chris was really, he's a really talented actor and he was like totally committed to like embodiment of the character. Boris Whitaker brought out probably the most interesting and really if there was gonna be a movie star in the movie, it was Doc Broders in my life. Hey, Holmes. Your heart stopped. You thought he was dead. I was. The early years when he's younger, you know, I had to really rely on my theater background for that. Come on, enjoy yourself. Power Company said we never paid the bill. Really? There's only two things I know how to do. That's box and preach. And preach, you won't pay the bills. In the second half of the film, I gained 50 pounds in five weeks, all right? So I went from 225 to 275. I wanted the audience to see the whole journey, the whole journey of a man who uses his fists to solve his problems, to use in his mind, and how you can change things. You made me something once, Doc. You can do it again. It is my destiny to win the heavyweight championship belt again. But then you get into the fighting aspect of it, and we treated it like it was a fight camp. My coach, Daryl Foster, said, Chris, we're going to treat this like you're fighting for the heavyweight title belt. You had to do it right. So the first thing was devising a plan to really choreograph the fight to a T. Last time they saw me, I looked like Superman. So now you look like the Michelin Man. This ain't no beauty contest. I had to make that kind of sacrifice and commitment for such a legendary story for such a legendary individual. A lot of us just didn't have hope like I did in the beginning, but the movie tells a story of hope. It's now, or it's never. Thanks for checking out this video. We want to know what would you have asked? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, for more videos like this, hit the MIH TV logo right here. And for the next awesome video, click right there.